Sarah Palin, uh, former employee of Fox News, went on CNN with Jake Tapper yesterday, and she first of all talked about the corporate culture at Fox News. I used to be with Fox. Uh, a corporate culture there obviously has to change. You know, women don't deserve, they should not ever have to put up with any kind of intimidating workspace. Okay, so that sounds like a pretty, you know, coherent thought from Sarah Palin. I can get on board with that, but then she continues. At the same time, um, if a woman believes that she is being intimidated and harassed, she needs to stand up and do something about it, not stick around for a paycheck for years and years and years, and then after the fact, complain about what she went through. As a strong woman, I say, you know, we're, we should be feel more empowered than that. Stick around for a paycheck. Is yep. that what these women did at Fox News? I mean, that's it's unbelievable that she would say that. It, it is, and it, it, it sort of ties in with a few things that I think are directly part of this and also just deeper, which is that you know, Bill O'Reilly was saying the same thing. When Megyn Kelly had left, because she, you know, multiple people had, you know, that talked about the culture there. On air talent were talking about the sexual harassment they'd experienced. When she had made some remarks about Roger Ailes, Bill O'Reilly attacked her publicly and said, when somebody is giving you a paycheck, you owe them loyalty, period. I mean, this was Megyn Kelly. That think was, about that. Yeah. No, I mean, it's, it really is. And, oh, that's grotesque. And I think what's gross about uh, what Sarah Palin said is that, you know, this idea that people can just come forward, I think, has been is something that. It, it should be a part of this story. Yeah. Um, because, you know, I think I, I understand why people might think it's intuitive, but it's not. I mean, if you especially in an environment where there's a culture, who do you come forward to? Um, and if the people you work with have come forward bravely and they have either been directly retaliated against or nothing has happened, why would you do that? I mean, I don't like the idea that we blame people who have been uh, harassed and abused and assaulted by predators like Bill O'Reilly um, for not standing up firmer or coming out more or putting themselves more yeah. on the line, especially when Bill O'Reilly himself had used the big platform that he had had to go after everybody. I mean, he attacked news outlets years ago that reported on his sexual harassment. He actually led advertiser boycott campaigns against newspapers that would publish anything about the story. Uh, that's, I mean, he would he, I mean, he, he, there was no form of intimidation that he would not deploy uh, to continue to engage in this kind of conduct and obviously advance his agenda. So I, I just think there's something really messed up at all about blaming, uh, about, about, about blaming women here. That's, that's a problem. I, no, I think it's a big, big problem. And I think every professional woman has dealt with this at, at some point. Every woman in there, you know, has, has dealt with, with this. But here's my question. I'm not. I'm not trying to excuse anything. But like, when you look at these guys that do this and use their power to ab abuse women in this way or harass mm -hmm. women in this way, um, do they understand? Like, does Bill O'Reilly, uh, like to this day, does does he understand that this is? Sexual harassment, this is not okay? Or is this a boys being boys situation? I think this is a part of his ideology. And I, I think, think so, right? Yeah, I do. I think this is part. You know, I, I think this is partly why that it's in something like this can fester at a place like Fox News. Um, it's not like they're the only you know, workplace that has a, a problem on this issue. Sure. Um, but I do think the reason why it's so intense and extreme there is actually directly connected to their ideology and their worldview. I mean, if you look on air, I cannot tell you the amount of segments and jokes that they make about women being in the kitchen. Um, oh, God. Right? Oh, my God. Uh, uh, you guys had a great video on, on just right. all of the things on Fox and it's Friends. It's very and intense. Just... And then the awkward, intense, just uncomfortable exchanges, hypersexualized that they do to other on-air talent. I mean, it is an environment that is based very much on their ideology, which essentially really does not acknowledge that women are equal. I mean, yeah. It doesn't. I mean, that's partly why they advocate against something as foundational as equal pay, right? I mean, well, they, like, uh, yeah. Even if you look at the O'Reilly stuff, some of these allegations come from, you know, there was a woman who he told her he could make a contributor or maybe even get her own show, right? right. Like, that just shows how unequal they – like, you help me out, and I – and my seat of power here can help you out. That's right. Which is textbook harassment. It is. It is. And, and even in the more subtle ways, like in the, uh, in the makeup room for on-air talent and guests, um, women were actually inspected before they went on air, whether you're a talent or guest – um, and if the producer didn't, uh, if you did not meet the Fox standard for your makeup and how it was done, they would send you back to the makeup room to have the person fix it. Um, they, they actually give them different sets of instructions at the studios for, for women. 
Um, and they're literally inspected before they went on air. And I mean, that is the environment at Fox News. This is why I think, I mean, that's why it's important to recognize that this is much deeper than O'Reilly. This is what advertisers were responding to. And this is what the public was backlashing against. And this is why you saw actual on air talent literally, these are Fox News personalities going to the New York City Human Rights Commission and saying, we, this, the situation where there is so bad that we need a human rights investigation. Jesus. I mean, that's, that's actually what Fox News personalities are saying. Um, and it's largely because these women came forward very bravely um, and created the space necessary to have this conversation.